Hello everyone. In this lecture on VLSI design, we will be talking about complementary MOS technology or CMOS technology. Uh, the name complementary or CMOS suggests that there are two different types of MOSFETs that will be used which will be complementary to each other. So, both, uh, so in this case both NMOS and PMOS are used. The network of NMOS is called pull down network and network of PMOS is called pull up network. Now pull down network is a network which makes the out which uh, pulls the output down to zero or which pulls the output down to logic zero or ground and pull up network is a network which uh, pulls up the output to a logic level of one. So what this pull up network does PMOS pull up network makes the output one and this NMOS pull down network makes the output zero. So as we can see if we had no pull down network we could never make the output zero if we had no pull up network we could never make the output one as a result they are complementary to each other again the pull down network is entirely made of nmos and pull up, pull up network is entirely made of pmos which are also complementary to each other as as a result they are called complementary or cmos technology it is also known as static cmos now we are Considering if what would have happened if uh, at different on and off stages of pull up net pull up and put down pull down networks now we, Let us consider if pull down network is off If pull down network is off the output cannot be zero because Current cannot flow in this direction. This is off if the pull up network is also off the output cannot be one because current cannot flow in this direction as well so as a result, the output is neither 0 nor 1. So it is called the floating condition. This, In case of CMOS, if the circuit is rightly designed, this floating condition is not supposed to happen. Now if the pull down network is on, off, that is no current can flow through this side, uh, the output can never be 0. But if the pull up network is on, current flows in this direction and output will be 1. As a result, the output is 1. Uh, similarly, uh, similarly, when pull up is off, this is off and this is on. In that case, the, uh, the pull down network brings the output down to zero. And if both the pull up network and pull down network is on, we can see that current flows through the pull down network, comes back, pull up network comes here and flows through the pull down network. No current actually flows through the output. This condition is very harmful for our structure because the VCC, when the switch is on, the resistance across the switch is very low or almost zero. So the VCC and the ground here are directly, directly connected, almost short circuited. And as a result, very high current flows through it and the network and the transistors may burn out. This condition is called the Cobar condition. So we are really interested in pull up on, pull down off this condition or pull down on pull up of this, these two conditions. Now what happens when the switches are series and parallel? We have already discussed that in case of NMOS if the gate voltage is logic 1 or 5 volts uh, or whatever the voltage uh, level that it's working on it's on if the gate voltage is 0 it's off. In case of PMOS the opposite happens if the volt gate voltage is 0 it is on that is the if the gate voltage is 0 output is 1 if the gate voltage is 1 the output is 0 in case of series we can see in case of series since we are considering the MOSFETs as switches two, two switches in series both will have to be turned on in order to, for current to flow if they are parallel we can see that even if one of the switches is turned on a current can flow to it as a result in case of parallel Either of the transistor must be on in order to current flow, in order for current to flow, and in case of series, both the transistor must be on in order for current to flow. So, in case of NMOS, let us let us see in case of NMOS, uh, in case of NMOS, if two NMOS are in series, what happens if G1 is, uh, if both are zero, if G1 and G2 both are zero, no current flows through it and it's off. If G1 is one, G2 is zero. As in this case, G1 turns on but G2 remains off. As a result, no current flows through it and the condition is off. If G1 is 0, G2 is 1. G2 turns uh, on and G1 turns off. As a result, no current can flow through it because the switch is not closed. 
and it's off. If both G1 is 1 and G2 is 1, that is high a voltage is applied across both G1 and G2, then we can see that both the switches are on and current flows. In case of PMOS, what happens? The condition is same. Both G1 and both the first MOSFET and the second MOSFET has to be turned on. But that condition occurs in case of PMOS, the 0, 0 condition. So in case of 0, 0 condition, the uh, transistors uh, both are on and current flows. In case of all the other conditions, both are not, uh, none of the, uh, either one of them are off and current does not flow. Now what if the circuit is uh, parallel? In this case, if G1 is, if both are 0, both are off and no current flows through it. If any one of them is 1, the current will flow through it, either in this branch or in this branch or from the both branches. So, either G1 has to be 1 or G2 has to be 1. Similarly, if the P, in case of PMA, since uh, 0 turns them on, then either G1 has to be 0 or G2 has to be 0 or both have to be 0 in order for conduction of current. If both are 1, no current is conducted through. Now let us look at CMOS inverter. In CMOS inverter, we make we have to make such an arrangement that is, if input is zero, output is one, and if input is one, output is zero. Now, if we think about it, if input is zero, which switch turns on? PMOS turns on. So if we if we connect our input to this PMOS here, if we connect this to VDD, we will get output is equal to one when input is 0 and when we get when we get input is equal to 1 we will get output floating a again in case of n mos we when input is 1 we want it to be 0 we want output to be 0 so we can connect a uh, n mos here if you provide input here and ground this portion when the input is 1 this switch turns on when this switch turns on current can flow through it as a result the current ground moves to from here, the ground moves to this position and the output is 0 when the input is 1. When the input is 0, this switch turns off as a result. Depending upon the position of PMOS, uh, it can be either 1 or floating. Now, since uh, in case of the this network or the pull-up network, we are considering this as input. In case of the pull-down network, we are considering this as input. The input is actually same, A. So, we shorten this these two and here we have a and here as output we have y this is our output so when a is zero this is this turns on this turns off as a result current flows in this direction and as a result the vdd from here move to y and y is equal to one when a is equal to one this turns off this turns on as a result, the ground is moved to y and y becomes equal to 0. So, as a result, whatever the input, we get the opposite output. We have already seen the symbol of NAND gate in our digital logic course. Now, let us look at some more complicated gates. Uh, these are also very easy. These are NAND gates. Uh, uh, so, in order to design a NAND gate, we have to uh, design any gates. We have to consider either the pull-up condition or the pull-down condition. So, let us look at the pull down condition, pull down that is the output is 0 when both the inputs are 0, in all, if both the inputs are 1 and in all the other cases output is 0, output is 1. So, we can see that both the inputs are 1 and this pull down network is done by NMOS. We perform pull down network, using, we construct pull down network using NMOS. Now we have to connect two NMOSs because we have two inputs in such a way that turning both of them one will allow current to flow. That is the NMOSs since one actually turn uh, one in the gate of NMOS turns the NMOS on. We have to consider that both the NMOS are in series. So if the NMOS are in series, here two NMOS we have. If they are in series and ground is connected here. If both the NMOS are on, that is here we get 1 and here we get 1, we will get this as 0 or in, a, in any other case the output will not be 0 because both uh, the ground will not be able to move to the output. Now 
very easy uh, way of designing CMOS is that we have to just design one part of it that is either the pull up network or the pull down network and the other network for example we have designed pull down network here other network will be just the opposite or complement of uh, this network for example in case of pull down network we have two MOSFETs in series in case of pull up network we will have two MOSFETs in parallel and since pull down network uses n MOS pull up network will use PMOS. So if we connect these two together this is our A and if we connect these two together this is our B here we will get relation A B bar. How? If the condition is 0 0 what happens in case of 0 0 this MOSFET is on this is on as a result output is equal to 1. If the condition is this is 0, this is 1, we can say this MOSFET is on, this is off. So current can flow in this direction as a result output still remains 1. If the condition is 1, 0, what happens? This MOSFET turns off since the input uh, gate voltage is 1, gate logic is 1 and this MOSFET turns on. As a result current can flow in this direction to the output and the output still remains 1. If the output is uh, if the inputs are 1 1 see this PMOS turns off this PMOS also turns off as a result the output float output is floating this is floating in perspective of the pull up network now if we consider the pull down network here we have put 1 because, uh, so this MOSFET uh, starts conducting here also we have put 1 so this MOSFET also starts conducting and as a result the ground is connected to the output and the output becomes zero. It is to be noted that very importantly in neither of these conditions both the MOSFET turns on. For example in case of 0 0 both the NMOS are off. In case of 0 1 one of the NMOS is on off another is on. In case of 1 0 again the second one is off and the first one is on. As a result in no cases we can see that the crossbar condition can occur. Now if we design the NOR gates, uh, in case of NOR gates we are using since there is just one uh, one uh, high output we are considering the pull up, net, uh, pull up networks. Now in case of pull up networks we can see that both the inputs have to be 0 in order for voltage output voltage to be 1. Now let us remember one thing, PMOS are turned on when the input is 0 that is both the PMOS has to be on simultaneously that is the PMOS have to be in series. If they are in series both will be turned on simultaneously. If they are in series again since we have designed let us see if we have designed the pull up network right. If the, if the inputs are 0 and 0 this is on this is also on as a result current flows. In case of 0 1 this is off and current does not flow. In case of 1 0 this is off and current does not flow. In case of 1, 1 both are off and current does not flow. So we have designed the pull up network successfully. Since the pull up network is correct, pull down network will be just complementary to the pull up network. That is, it will contain NMOS in place of PMOS, ground in place of VDD and series in case of uh, parallel in case of series. So if we connect these two, we get A. If we connect these two, we get B and from the from the connection connecting point between the pull up network and pull down network we found find our output y now it is uh, so the output y is actually nor gate a plus b whole bar it is to be noted that in case of plus operation our pull up network is in series in uh, in case of uh, nand gate we had seen a dot b uh, bar in case of NAND operation that is in case of multiplication operation our pull up network was parallel we can use it in our uh, in designing circuits. So we have already talked about conduction complement conduction complement says that the pull up network is complement of pull down network what that means if the cases are parallel in pull up it will be series in pull down network and vice versa. And it uh, and one of the network produces zero. That is, the pull down network produces zero. The pull up network produces one. 
the pull up network is only comprised of pmos and the pull down network is only comprised of nmos everything is complement so it is called conduction complement now we will be designing cmos circuit based on boolean expression uh, now we do not have a truth table we can design we can draw a truth table of this expression and design it but that won't be necessary uh, we have to remember one thing which i have already told in case of multiplication or and operation nand operation what we have we have the pull up network or pmoses in parallel so if we put a here if we put b here we will get a b bar similarly if we put c here and if we put d here c d we will get C D bar. So here we get A B bar. Here we get C D bar. Now A B bar, A B will be in series with C D, right? A B will be in series with C D because there is a positive sign. So this is in series with C D. Here we are connecting the V D D, and this is our pull-up network. Once the pull-up network is designed, it becomes very easy. Pull-down network here A B are in parallel, so we have to put A B in series. Again, CD are in parallel, so we have to put CD in series. Here we put B, C, A, and B. Now, this AB, this parallel AB is series with this parallel CD. As a result, this series AB will have to be in parallel to this series CD, and we put the ground here. And the output we get from the middle of the two networks, this is Y. It is to be noted that we have already we have always considered AND operation, so output will also be complemented. As a result, AB plus AB plus CD will get Y is equal to AB plus CD whole bar. If we wanted AB plus CD, we would have connected uh, an inverter to the output, and we would have gotten from this output we get AB plus CD. So, it is to be noted that in case of CMOS design, originally we get inverted output and from inverted output connecting that to an inverter, we will get a, a, a non-inverted or complemented output. That's all for now. Thank you so much.